Hi guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and we are in my kitchen, and we are working on those quail eggs, right? I said that we were going to do a, um, because quail eggs are so cleansing for heavy metals out of the body, and also I love, I was going to make some quail eggs, and I love cilantro. Cilantro is amazing in eggs, in my opinion, and it's also an amazing heavy metal cleanser. Make sure you get this organic because you cannot wash the pesticides off the outside, and that kind of defeats the whole purpose, yeah? So, let's just talk. Alex, I'm doing it. What are you doing? And so, what I've done is I also like to eat, in America, we love with breakfast to eat just raw tomatoes on a plate. So, I'm going to put my scrambled eggs in the middle of this. Let's talk. We just talked in the last video about the health benefits of quail eggs and there's so much right so now I want to just talk quickly about the health benefits of tomato I've done a whole video on it but let's just um, say a couple of things and uh, let's look it up here that's what we got going on y'all Scott Penningham's Wicca in the Kitchen ST tomato 99 132 Okay, tomato, energies, health, money, love, and protection, okay? So health is in there. I'm excited about that. It's supporting the health that we're making this whole foods on, right? So let's just kind of kick that back there. Show you here the quail eggs. You can get 10 of them for $2.49 at your Asian market. And then also, don't forget to save them over here for your witchcraft workings. Look at how cool those are. I've washed them out. We can put little tiny herbs in there. Um, some of them, I've left the shell connected on the top. Okay, and it's good to set them on a paper towel to dry. I've just set them like this to dry, okay? So we've got 10 eggshells over there. And let's get to cooking. If you, oh, so I love to use Visions cookware. Visions is uh, like this corningware made in France, and you can see through it. I love it when you use, like, if you're going to do coiled eggs, like um, <clears throat> oh, a deviled coiled egg is so fun. But you can actually see them boiling in the pot of water. It's so, so cool. Um, and also you can keep an eye on it when the lid's on and the water level gets low from boiling it. So that's great. I just wanted to talk about visions. It's awesome. I have a candle here for spirit to be here with me because I'm actually doing a meal for like cooking for my health, yeah? And I love cooking with actual fire. Fire to glass to food. It's so lovely. There's no Teflon in here. There's a little texture and I won't lie, it does stick. But if you cook on a nice low heat, you should be fine. And um... I usually like to use butter, like an organic butter in there to get it from sticking and give it a little flavor. So, meow, meow, you want outside Jackie boy? Okay, let's put a little butter in the pan and then we will heat the pan up. I say a little butter. I guess that's a good amount, but... Oh, also, I'm going to show you how to open the quail eggs. If you didn't get it in the last video, I will show you how to open these little babies. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in there. We have two more to open. I will show you how to do that. You get a knife that has a very thin back and a very thin point. And then you take the small side of the egg and you just tap it into the top all the way around. And I will show you how to do that. And that thin knife will penetrate through, but it won't break the yolk because the yolk sits at the bottom. Once you get all the way around, just a tiny crack all the way around, you don't want anything to come out. Then you lift the shell. And that yolk is there. And then now it's connected still. You can just tip it over and that yolk falls out. And now you just give this a really good rinse to get all of that... Um, egg white out. I'll do that after. Okay, so let's do the butter, just prep it, do do do. 
I am like all over the place all the time. That's my game. All right, one more time. Ready? Small side up, thin point of the part of the knife at the bottom, and let's get into this. You'll see these at your sushi restaurants um, on top of flying fish eggs called Tobiko. Open it up and then tip it up. You can do these fried like singly if you have a nonstick pan probably is better. And you can just do them on top of a little crostini type thing that is so good if you do fancy cooking. Uh, fancy cooking is fun, right? When you have guests over and such. Now we've got the eggs ready, we've got the butter in the pan, everything is kind of prepped and ready, right? I prefer 10 eggs for one person. It's just my preference, it's $2.49, it's not too much. I know it's uh, a little more than we probably want to spend. Let's, um, let's grind up some herbs, okay? I've chosen to use Celtic sea salt because it's very protective and cleansing and I know that it's already kind of mashed up but I do like to mash like grind my intent into it okay and I and I'm using a pink peppercorn here I love pink peppercorns and I've got it in this cool old vintage bottle um, if you don't have pink peppercorns something that's really yummy to use if you like a little spice is some chile flakes okay all right so let's grind these up with our intention. You want to go clockwise for positivity. Grind clockwise for positivity. And think of your intent. I'm cleansing these heavy metals out of my body. I'm cleansing these heavy metals out of my body so that I can become closer with spirit and my mind will be more clear. Okay? And really grind your intent into there. And God, that's a beautiful pink salt, isn't it? Oh, it smells amazing. It smells so bright and vibrant. Really, push your intent in there. That's witchcraft in the kitchen, okay? So now, I want to talk about cilantro. I think I already did. Cilantro is amazing for cleansing. I did talk about it. Heavy metals out of the body. Make sure it's organic. Okay, let's turn on this burner. Did it do do fire! Not that one, this one. This one, this one. Wait. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, we'll do that one. And I'm putting it on low, like right above low. I just want to get this butter melted in the pan, okay? Hmm, what should we talk about? Well, this is melting. Uh, what kind of tool should we use to... Flip. Which tool should we use to flip? Well, I really like to use wooden tools, so I'm gonna. And I'm telling you, this is gonna be a scramble. It's not gonna be like a bunch of fried eggs. However, if you could do that in a bunch of fried eggs and then flip it so none of the yolks broke, that would be a really fun creation, wouldn't it? You'd have a bunch of single yolks. <laughs> I don't know, it's worth a try. So this is us here making coil eggs to cleanse heavy metals out of your body, okay? And right now we're getting this butter melted in our visions pan so that when we put the ingredients in it doesn't stick everywhere because it will. It's kind of inevitable. I could turn the heat up a tad. Um, and first, like especially if you are doing chilies, you want to do the chilies in the butter because the, and I'll just do that, I'll add a little chili. Alex, do you want to try any of these coil eggs? I'm just going to add a little chili to the butter and you want to move it in your fingers to open up those oils because it's dried, okay? If you don't want spice, leave this stuff out and just use that pink pepper, okay? Butter and chili flakes is an amazing start for any like pasta. My uh, brother makes this smoked salmon pasta that the whole family talks about. Oh god, it's so good and the start of it is a bunch of yummy, yummy, yummy Kerrygold butter, and then uh, chili. So let that bubble a little bit, but don't let it go too much. And then we are going to 
toss in these eggs, okay? Let's just try and drop them in. Okay. I like to clean the kitchen as I go because it's not so messy when you're done. But this definitely isn't something you want to leave alone, so don't leave it alone. Okay, let's see if we can get some of these over to this. Nope, they're staying where they're staying. Oh, there we go. Come on. I don't know, if we keep them on this side, maybe we could flip the, yolk, the white. We're playing around. We're testing it. Maybe. Ooh. I'm going to scramble it. Alright, now is a good time to toss in your spices. And we've got this pink salt. Put a little bit in now and then do the rest just to flavor it when you're done, okay? Because you don't know how salty. This Celtic salt is very salty. As I'm ripping this, I'm putting my intent in. I want these to cleanse the heavy metals out of my body. Cleanse the heavy metals out of my body. Okay. And I leave a little cilantro for the top, okay? Because I actually like to have some fresh on top just to kind of garnish the plate. And this is 10 quail eggs. It's looking like about two chicken eggs. And that's what they say. The quail egg is about a fifth of the size of a chicken egg. And I didn't believe it at first, but I do now. So, 10 would be two chicken eggs. And a lot of people, in America at least, when we do eggs for breakfast, it's three eggs. But I feel like that's a lot, you know? Now, if you, now remember, eggs will carry over cook in the pan. So if you leave them in the pan, you want to get them like leave them a little undercooked and, and remember, just remember they'll cook longer in the pan if you leave them there. So I like mine pretty well cooked. I don't like running eggs. Just me, you know. Cleanse the heavy metals out of my body. Cleanse the heavy metals out of my body. Okay. Please leave in the comments how you like my cooking segments because I've done a couple and it's fun. And I like it. Yeah. I like to talk about food and health and when I can uh, participate. Mmm. They're facing really good. You're done. Go off. Let's get them over to the plate. They look really good. Sizzling. Let me get my plate over here. Ah. Okay. So. I've cut seven tomatoes, seven is the number of alchemy, seven will be with me, and now I'm going to put the eggs right in the middle. See how they're still sizzling in the pan? They're carryover cooking, that's what you call that. You know, it did not stick at all. Uh, I'm pretty proud of the way that I set this up with the butter. It's not always easy. And sometimes it's a big old mess, but I feel like those three little tops of butter really helped. There's our eggs. Beautiful. And then let's just get some fresh cilantro all over the plate to remind us what we're doing here. We're here cleansing heavy metals out of the body. Now would be a great time to get your juicer out and do a wheatgrass shot. We grow wheatgrass here. It's so simple. All you do is get wheatgrass um, hard red winter wheat berries. You plant them in your microgreens trays. And that is an amazing heavy metal cleanser for the body. But we then end up grinding it up in a, like a magic bullet and making it into a powder. Like this. And then you just add it to water into your green shake up. So this is an amazing heavy metal cleansing breakfast. Having some wheatgrass shot, this is totally grown from us, powdered and dried wheatgrass. Take a shot of that have this with your breakfast. You know that you're doing so well for yourself. You guys, thank you for coming back with me, Jen, the taxidermy witch, while we made some delici delicioso, amazing uh, 
quail egg breakfast. Have a beautiful, gorgeous day. See you later.